If you're a frequent traveler or just want to silence the world around you, it used to be that you bought yourself a pair of Bose headphones. Today though, there are a lot of other manufacturers making some very interesting noise canceling headphones. Hey all, Parker from Digital Trends here, and I am here with three of the best premium noise canceling headphones on the market. We have our reigning champs, the Sony WH-1000X Mark III, the Bose QC35 II, and a newcomer to the league, the Jabra Elite 85H. These are $50 less than both of these bad boys, and they boast many of the same features and even longer battery life. So let's see how they stack up against our two favorite noise canceling headphones. The first thing you'll notice about this class of headphone is that many of them boast very similar looks. And that's because they're supposed to appeal to sort of business class personalities. So if you look at the Sony option, you have this nice plastic ear cover, some nice plush ear pads, and generally just not too much to look at. The same is true of the new Jabra Elite 85H. They have a nice fabric coating on the outside, but again, very understated. Perhaps the flashiest of the bunch are these silver Bose QC35 twos. You can also get these in black, but you'll notice they always have this shiny Bose logo. And they also always have this switch on the outside of the ear cup, which is something that both Jabra and Sony do not do. The other thing that all of these headphones have in common is that they are designed to be extremely comfortable. If you're flying a long distance or on a lengthy commute, you want your headphones to feel great on your head all day. And all three of these headphones accomplish that goal. They use these plush leather ear pads and all three have very comfortable headbands so that they won't hurt your noggin after a long day on the road. Let's talk about what sets these headphones apart. And let's start with the headphones you're probably most familiar with, the Bose QC35 II. These headphones have about 20 hours of battery life with noise canceling on, and they boast some of the best noise canceling you're gonna find in any headphones. Bose has been making headphones for a very long time, and they've really dialed in their noise canceling and their sound profile. So what you get is a slightly boosted bass, scooped mid-range, and a very crisp high end. These aren't the favorites of audiophiles due to the fact that they have such a shaped sound profile, but for those of you who are looking for sheer entertainment out of your music, they absolutely offer that. All right, now let's talk about our reigning champions, the WH-1000X Mark III. These are our favorite noise canceling headphones on the market for a couple reasons. First and foremost, they sound amazing. They have LDAC and Aptics technology on board for beautifully pristine and crystal clear Bluetooth audio and the noise canceling is easily as good as is offered by Bose. So you get a flatter overall sound signature, the same noise canceling, and longer battery life. These are good for 30 hours with active noise canceling on, and that makes them just an insane product from Sony. We still love these guys. Let's talk about the newcomer though. Jabra, one of our favorite headphone brands, and really a brand that has emerged in the last couple years to lead the market in a couple places. This is their first premium noise canceling headphone and it's got a couple things to set it apart. The first thing is that it offers a whopping 36 hours of battery life with noise canceling on. That's six hours longer than Sony, 16 hours longer than Bose, and that means you'll be able to fly around the world with these babies without having to power them up. They also sound quite good. We put them somewhere between the Sony and the Bose. They don't offer aptics or LDAC, but they sure do sound flat and warm and make all of your favorite tunes sound great. One place that we're not quite as big of fans of these headphones as we are the Sony and the Bose is the noise canceling. They don't quite perform as well as these two other premium headphones, and that's okay because they cost $50 less, just $300 and that makes them one of the best values you'll find in premium noise canceling headphones, a place where you don't often talk about value. So I spend a lot of time with a lot of headphones. What are my favorites? Well, I still have to go with the WH-1000X Mark III. They're just an obscenely awesome pair of headphones. They sound amazing. The noise canceling's amazing. They're amazingly comfortable. They have amazing battery life. There's a lot of amazing things going on here. If you wanna save 50 bucks, and you want even longer battery life, these Jabras are a fantastic new option, and I'm really excited to see this company stepping into this space. I can't wait to see what they do with second and third generations the same way Sony has. If I were to buy a pair of noise-canceling headphones, 
and I had $350, I would not buy the Bose QC35 II. And it's not because the noise canceling is bad or because they sound bad, it's just because the Sonys cost the same amount of money, have 10 hours more battery life, and have better sound overall. So if I'm making my decision, it goes one, two, three. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the Digital Trends page and check out our full reviews of each one of these headphones on the Digital Trends website. Also, definitely comment below. We'll read those, cry, and maybe respond to you.